Can I still ask a political question? Yes, of course. Of course, you can ask a question. I'm always open to questions done reasonably. I just don't like people that are so confident in unresearched opinions. Can you tell me how to argue with someone who thinks that immigration is the root of every problem in any country? Bro, that's a great question. Cause it's such a simple solution that people latch onto. I don't know that I have a great instant answer for you. I should think about it more. I honestly, I gotta be honest with you. What I've found in life is arguing about something like this will never work ever. <laughs> There's like not a fact or something you can throw. There's not one of these things where you can like get the right gotcha fact. It, it feel, you feel it in your gut. So I, I would, my first advice would be to not argue and try to find common ground. But I guess the thing that I find to be uniting is that I think all people know that like there is a system between big business and politics, basically money and politics from big business that siphons out most of the prosperity that they would otherwise enjoy. And I think if you keep the keep the the eye of Sauron on that and understand that like we need to go with the parties that are most likely to break that up to fight that because that is the core problem and understand that whether or not you really crack down on the border kick all the immigrants will not change that problem that is the problem that's causing most of your issues in society i think most people agree that that's the thing is that if you really talk to them i think people do agree with that and they get distracted and then this is this is a tougher thing to say but it is true <laughs> There's people that will never recognize that there is any problem at all with any amount of immigration. There's so much fake news about it, it's tough to discuss, but I don't like when there clearly is a problem. Of, there's like some truth in the problem, and then people call every single person who thinks there's a problem a racist. I think that's not productive, it doesn't help. And it actually hurts their own cause. I don't like that. It's such a hot ticket item and stuff for me to discuss, but I don't I don't think that's effective. And so that, I think it's where we end up with this weird gridlock where some people think it's the only problem and it's the cause of all problems. And some people think there's not a problem at all. And if you think there is, you're a racist. And those two people will never get along on anything and we don't make any progress. And then we end up talking way too much about immigration instead of any of the actual problems, which again, all come back to the people at the very top of society slucking out all the prosperity. So that is what I think, bro. Tough to talk about, but I think I'm more and more confident or I feel more and more a spine on the, my thoughts on this. I feel good about my opinion. <laughs> and so I like to say it more often. You ever worry about immigrants taking streamer jobs? <laughs> yeah, it's my number one fear. <laughs> My whole platform is that I'm worried about immigrants taking streamer jobs. Japan's not sending their best VTubers. <laughs> we need to build a digital wall with Japan and keep the VTubers out. Okay, they're taking my job. I saw a VTuber playing Hitman the other day. Oh dear God, what happened to this country? We're gonna make a great firewall and we're gonna make uh, Japan pay for it. Can't America fix their immigration problem by sending the same amount of Americans outside the border? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not. You would be loath to call me far right here, but is your take that every time someone illegally enters the country, we should take an American citizen and kick them out of the country? <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to understand. I mean, I just want to understand. I just, I think it might be a tough sell. <laughs> like, just politically, because you understand it's the American citizens that are voting, right? And so, I will say this, if we're talking pure economically, if every time a young illegal immigrant crossed the border, we kicked out a boomer, <laughs> we could solve the demographic crisis in America in no time, bro. We would Social security would be funded in no time. And if we 100% taxed them on exit and got all of the boomers wealth, we could rebuild all the roads and nuclear power plants. Just not my grandma though. Just not my grandma. Would you deport all the boomers if the only way was to include your grandma? No, I wouldn't deport all the boomers. <laughs> I don't honestly believe we should take every elderly person in America and kick them out of the country. That's not a realistic solution. I don't actually believe that, bro. It'll be, you know what? I'd be down to try it. If we could vacation, if we could just like throw them all in Australia for six months and see what happens. But uh, no, I don't want everybody's, especially the non-wealthy boomers are suddenly just kicked out of their homes in the country because they got old. What if we, we do a reverse draft? A reverse draft where we, where it's like a maximum age or whatever. We're like, it's everybody over 60. We go to war and it's just the oldest army we've ever had. That'd be kind of sick. We start World War III, but it's only people who are alive around World War II. <laughs> They're already pre-trained. Let's do a full-on rematch, dude. 
Everybody who's still alive from the 40s. We really need to include the 50s and 60s, though. The guys that remember it. They've had so much time to train. World War II 2.0. World War II V2. I like that. I like that. That's a good idea. This might... The Golden Bachelor, but for World War II. <laughs> Who do you got winning the run back? Actually, honestly, Japan. Japan's got a lot of old people, and they're healthier than the rest of the world. They live longer. Honestly, if it's only old people war, Japan crushes, dude. I would be worried for China. I'll be worried for China if we do World War II too with only old people. We still have nukes, but you, you can't you can't hit a young person. One rule is nobody young can get hit. Everyone under 60 is safe. So nukes are off the table, unless we can somehow get old people isolated. Laser tag ass rules. <laughs> Dodging the draft by having healthy hips. Yeah. <laughs> If you're 60, but still kind of young, you know, you feel you're spry, you don't get drafted. You're fine. We're looking at people who are really old. I have an old soul. Does that count? Yeah, you're drafted. Get out there. Do they get modern technology like drones? You think they're going to use it? You think an over 60 army is going to figure out how to pilot the drones? It'll be a disaster. Yeah, they get it, but they can't use it. They get no training. They should somehow hit the Netflix button on the drone controller. <laughs> Every drone starts playing Netflix. My grandpa trying to fly a Predator drone is a nightmare. Your nightmare is going to be our great entertainment. We're all going to be watching. It's going to be so fun. What if we don't even do it in the countries? Let's just put them all in Australia. All the olds in the whole world go on Australia and they fight it out. And we watch it on TikTok Live. And it's like, we just, it's Battle Royale. Yeah. I think that'd be sick. Did they drop in using a flying bus? No, that's the Zoomer war that I'm also planning. Millennials, wait for the next meeting. <laughs> Millennials, don't worry. When we get our majority vote, don't worry. I've got some plans. I've got some plans for the Zoomers as well. Yeah, what if we get Mr. Beast to turn Australia into a giant coliseum? There will never be a millennial president? You're f crazy. You're crazy. There will definitely be a millennial president. 100%. The, just the math. No, we're not getting skipped. We're not. <laughs> I have worried about us getting skipped. Millennials not a small millennials not a small generation. We're not Gen X, bro. Gen X is getting skipped, actually. It's gonna be straight from boomers to millennials. Mark Cuban is Gen X. All right, maybe they get one. Mr. B's gonna go 10 terms. <laughs> it would be crazy if we go straight from like Biden and Trump to Mr. Beast and he goes 10 terms. That would be a wild result. Your current president our, yeah, our current president is not even a boomer. I will say that. He is uh, he's Greatest gen, right? I think that Biden is older than the boomers. He was born while World War II was still active, which is crazy. Why didn't Biden stop Hitler? That's a good question. <laughs> Although I will say he Hitler was alive, then Biden was born, then Hitler died. So he has a claim. He could say that he like stopped Hitler. What are your thoughts on green nuclear energy? I've never had any thoughts on it. I've never had a single thought on nuclear energy, nor have I ever spoken about it in the past. So I don't think I have anything to say about it now. Thanks for bringing it up, though. Have you seen the hot picture of him? Is it hot Joe Biden or hot Hitler? Because I don't want to really... <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen <laughs> Hot Joe, dude. Imagine you just sent a photo of him at the debate <laughs> with his eyes popping out. Jeez, bro. What year was this? Like the 60s? I'm assuming he's born in the 40s. This is the 20... 1776. <laughs> yeah, Hawaii Joe in the 60s.